Hi, my name is Kira Hansen, and this is the Susan L. French Emerging Leader Fellowship Update. I'm the Office Administrator for Rosendine, Galvin, and Grunfeld. We're a small firm of 22 attorneys in San Francisco, and while I've been on the administrative side here and at other firms for five years, I've been in the legal industry my entire career, starting out as a user support specialist. Fun fact about me, I was once a tap dancing Christmas tree and was part of the 2012 Macy's Day Parade in New York City. The trees wear big hoops and go through a number of formations, so we've been socially distancing for over 30 years. Over to you, Megan. Hi, I'm Megan Wilson. I'm the OA for Shepherd Mullen, Director Hampton, Dallas office. We have multiple locations throughout the nation and abroad. We have around 1,800 employees throughout those offices and 46 employees here in Dallas. I have been in the legal fields for 20 years, starting out as a legal secretary, then worked my way up to a paralegal, and then in 2013, took on my first office administrator position for a small law firm here in Dallas. Fun facts about me is that I participate in a lot of activities. I practice jujitsu, I play soccer, I am on a master swim team, and I am a triathlete that has participated in two half Ironmans and hope to complete a full Ironman in the next couple of years. I first learned of the Susan L. French program through ALA's weekly newsletter. I looked it up and was immediately excited about the opportunity. I have a lot of ambition, both personally and professionally, and felt like this would be a great opportunity to get the guidance I needed to achieve my goals. I applied and impatiently waited to hear a response. I interviewed with Wendy, Michelle, and Mike, who were all wonderful. I was elated and honored to hear that I was one of the two accepted into this program. Kira? Like Megan, I was also moved by what I learned about the fellowship during the application process. And after hearing I was one of the two recipients for this year, I felt incredibly honored and motivated to do justice to the role. Getting to the core of why I applied, I hope for three main outcomes. Of course, on the surface, I wanted this to elevate my ability to serve my firm as a leader. And behind that, I was hungry for access to more resources and mentors. But at the core was my need for greater connection. And I'm learning all the time that this connection is what leads to success in all my other goals. I'm grateful, especially in this time of COVID, uh, to have additional opportunities for connection. So Megan, how have you felt the mentorship piece of this fellowship has gone? I am truly grateful for the mentorship the foundation has afforded us. It has already been a, a great assistance to me on multiple occasions. We are currently in the midst of a unique situation with most of us working remotely and isolated from our peers. This pandemic has also caused a unique struggle of work-life balance. Where we were once pulled in 50 directions, we are now being pulled in 100 directions. The mentorship has not only provided guidance along the way, but connection as well. And for that, I'm truly grateful. Kira? First, I struggled with this because I've always ever done everything by myself. And I've good success with it. But when I had the time to stop and just really ask, I got some really great ideas on talking things through with Emily, my mentor. I've improved some internal processes already, and I just feel more supportive. We didn't wait long for our first opportunity to connect at the virtual CLI and then again during Lemonade for Legal. We didn't know what to expect in a virtual conference compared to the live ones we've attended in the past, but they both blew us away with the level of energy in every single session. Lemonade took lessons learned from CLI and had to participate in video thumbnails, separate Zoom rooms to connect with the sponsors and the speakers. This was really effective for our learning and engagement and really inspiring for how we could conduct our own virtual meetings with our chapters, inside our own firms. But the fellowship didn't end there with conference admission. Megan, tell us a little bit more about what we were in store for. Absolutely. We were enrolled in Elevate Your Professional Presence by Judy Hassan, who is fabulous. This course was more than just a simple instructional course. It was an opportunity to relate to others on how our personal and business life can blend together and how we manage our day-to-day -day and all that it brings. Especially during COVID, our leadership styles have had to adapt to not only unique work struggles, but unique personal struggles as well. This course was an opportunity to gain insight and personal knowledge, just not in our management style, but in how we go about our day to day. It was a wonderful course. So where do we go from here? 
I think this fellowship is all about connection and giving back. So what I'm going to take from this the most is ways not only to serve the fellowship in year two as a mentor myself, but also apply this to my other communities, my chapter, and bring greater strength to the bench for all of us. Megan? I am so grateful for what I have learned in the program so far. I know through what I have learned and what I will continue to learn will be a great asset, not only in my professional development, but with my local ALA chapter as well as, well as ALA. I do not believe that our learning will stop when our time within the program comes to an end. I believe that through mentoring next year's recipients, we will continue to grow, not only professionally, but personally as well. Kara and I would like to thank the foundation, Alan Wilson and GLJ Benefit Consultants for such an amazing opportunity. We will continue to work hard in this program and as mentors. We will continue to honor season and support the foundation's mission statement of advancing knowledge, creating opportunity, and to me the most important, touching lives. 